Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. Let's continue. We finally managed to uh, get to the next area of the game after our first boss fight, which was kind of interesting. Um, we shotgunned uh, this giant woman in a kind of weird suit to death, which was, you know, the most action we've had in this game so far. Right, let's start having a little look around. So, we've met Adler as well, who appears to be the big cheese around this place. And that went badly, as he threw us to our supposed death. Anywho, we're made of stronger stuff than that. So, we need to find a fuse to go slap in this machine here. That's fine. So, this opens with the maintenance key. We're on floor five. We're going down to floor six. Okay. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Keep checking the map. Doesn't look like we're in a very target-rich environment so far. But look, there's definitely... Well, he's been doing this for a while. The elevator is out of order. Yeah, um little bit more than out of order, I'd wager. So, we need an owl key to get through that room. No matter. Sure, we will find ourselves an owl key. There's three rounds of ammo for a handgun. We'll have it. No reason in leaving it for the roaches, after all. What's through this door? Hello. What have we got here? Uh, so, Buyan will burn. I guess that's an empire uh, world or city. Probably um, a world. Looks like some sort of castle in the sky. I don't know. I'm kind of rooting for the Empire, to be honest. I mean, of course I'm rooting for the uh, the Empire. Um, angry note. I'm officially sick of the eels next door. Uh, they've been listening to that stupid song non-stop since the piano room was locked down. If I, ever, if I have to hear it one more time, I'm going to go over there and smash that stupid tape recorder to pieces. I wonder if there's a way we can borrow a key so we can get into their dorm and put an end to this madness. I don't care about breaking quarantine if it means never having to hear that song again. Mm, okay. Fair enough. So some of the droids are pissing the other droids off, I guess. So we need to somehow borrow a key. But then if this is a droid dorm, it's like comfortable living quarters, nice fan. And there's, I guess, down here is a shower room. So, does it make you wonder? How sentient these guys kind of are. I mean, they're basically artificial life forms at this point. Okay. Okay, I thought that reflection there was actually a replica, but it is not. There's also an auto-injector down there. Is it worth going for a snatch and grab? Possibly. Ooh, we can't go in here. We need a torch. Let's see. Oh, that was. No, no, that's fine. Let's try and get everybody to come out over here. Go in. Grab the injector. And if we can... Oh, that's bad. That's... Probably worth... I should have run back down the other way, actually. Yeah, that was probably worth it for an auto-injector. For an item that's going to instantly heal us. We are limping, though. Let's eat one of these. Hopefully they've all reset. Not quite. Give it a few more minutes. So that was the repair bay that we can go into, but we can't 
quite get into the repair bay yet. Ooh. Alright, this is problematic. I wonder if we leave, and then if we, say, go into another room, and then go back, will she have reset? Yes. So if you go two rooms back, the enemies reset. That's good to know. I think swapping one, uh, like, health patch. Or... Uh, Auto-injector is probably worth it. Now, I don't know if we want to potentially go back and jiggle our junk around because we're kind of getting a little bit full up here. Keep walking. That's it. Just keep walking. I don't know why there's kind of like a haze around them. It is a bit strange. Like, this whole game is strange. I'm not sure how much of this this game is actually meant to be happening and how much of it is kind of in our heads. It's, I mean, it is a psychological horror game, so I'm not really sure. Memorandum. Lighting malfunctions. Due to a recent incident involving a certain starling that will... What's a starling? That will rena uh, shall remain unnamed. I've adjusted all doors to require visible light to open. Well, that's bad. This should hopefully stop any more non-service... Um, cadre personnel from entering them, endangering themselves by stumbling into dark rooms until we can take care of the lighting issues. If you've been assigned an illumination failure repair task, remember to equip a flashlight module so the door sensors will let you in. Ask Adler ahead of time if you need one. He's usually in his quarters on the eighth floor these days. The eighth floor. So we need to try and get to the 8th floor. Ooh. That looks like it's going to be a hostile environment. Right, so we've got plenty of healing patches. Can't go through there, can't go through there. Run. Let's just run. Oh, locked. Don't really want to put these two down. Shit. It's going badly. It's going very badly. Definitely was a little on the rough side. Okay, so what have we got here? Aura. So that's Aura. All-purpose repair worker replica. Macor. Type. Generation 2. Low cost. General purpose. So she can't use the medical injectors. Biomechanical frame with titanium reinforced polyurethane shell. The tough worker bees of the construction and repair industry. One of the earlier replica designs. The simple but effective auras are actually the most produced replica type to date. These strong and heavy worker units are a perfect fit for working construction and production of industrial goods. In many places throughout our nation, auras have already replaced all Gestalt workers in fields like Kimla forming and explosive ordnance disposal. Oof. So being so sentient as they are, it's kind of worrying uh, how disposable they seem to be. Uh, let's have a patch. Stop us hobbling around quite so much. Oh, hello. Oh, great. Oh, oh hello. There's one appearing behind us too. Right, let's get rid of you. Alright. Actually got to drop those two. That was bad. Oof. 
At least we can reload. Ah, oh, not enough space to carry shotgun rounds. Ah, oh, dude. Dude. Okay, we'll have to remember that there's some shotgun shells there. And we can't go through there. Oh, that was rough. Okay. That was really rough. We'll have to deal with it for now, though. Oh, hello. I'm afraid the commander won't receive any visitors at the moment. But perhaps I can be of assistance instead. Who, who are you? I'm the administrator of this uh, administrator of this facility. Please, there's no need to be afraid. I'm just here to help. None of us are here by choice, Erica. Okay. It's more ten millimeter. No space to carry repair. Yeah, you, so we're. We're really struggling right now with our inventory. That looks like another medical injector. That is a medical injector, isn't it? Can we? Yeah. Get her to come this way. She's kind of a slow shambler. That's cool. Can we go through the door, please? Thank you. I don't know why that door wasn't opening. So, what have we got here? More shotgun rounds that we can't touch. This... This is going to be bad. Oh my god, look how many items there are in here. Okay. So many items. Grab the two bullets, I suppose, for now. We're going to have to go on an item run, aren't we? Um, right. Okay, okay. This is fine. Can't take those shotgun shells, which is really frustrating. Can we... Why didn't the thing work? Okay. We don't want to be in there yet either. That's okay. We'll drop her down. Alright, so that was incredibly bad. Really bad. Can't do anything in that room because there's a replica. Can't do anything. Ah, okay. Looks like we might have to go through here. All right. Don't really want to take her out. But I'd rather take her out than get hit. Oh, that was a nice shot. All right, we'll take it. Definitely being more aggressive in this run than I was. My actual, ah, oh, there's two over there. Right. Being way more aggressive. And that's okay. I say there's two, I think, yeah, there's only one. That's fine. All right. Damn it. Damn it. Hey, we unlocked the door. Nice. Go through the door. Oof. Okay. We can actually go back up here. Five. So where was our save room? Right. It's back down here. Cool. Ah, oh, we really need to sort our items out. Let's have a little look. What have we got? Uh, we don't need those. Let's drop the shotgun rounds. Let's 
drop the auto injectors. So that gives us. All right, let's combine that and that, and then drop the ammo. Because I really think. Right, this has got the fuse box in there. Okay, so let's go back down. Yeah, I really think um, the inventory is going to be a thorn in our side. Now, where were those shotgun shells? There were. Right, it was in there. That's the flood overflow that we've just come through. Well... We need to go back there later on anyway, because we need the workshop hallway key. Um, so that's fine. So we'll go grab those shelves later. That's cool. And we really are injured. Let's go down. So... We can't look in the office yet. So, eight. Unlocks from the other side. So, eight is where we need to be, because that's where Adler is. Or that's where his office is. And I'm guessing his office is going to be where we catch. Ooh, 190. This is a weird area, which I still... Right, 185. Which I still don't 100% understand. 185 at once. Now we can kill these things with this very annoying noise. I think this kills these things. Right, now we need 204. Oh, 204. Oh, it's really bloody annoying, this is. But if we do this right, 231. This does kill these guys. Two, three. If there's more to this bit, I don't know it. Come on. Come on. There should be another one eight four. One eight four. There should be another frequency. There we go. We do that and everything dies. But I don't know what the hell that was all about. So there's a keyhole in the painting. All right, well, that's fine, I guess. Not really sure what the keyhole is for. A key, obviously. But a key that we don't have isn't great for us, to be honest. So we can't go through there. Star Dorm. Rolling shutters. Protector's office. So we essentially... need to get... Key for that door. That door's locked up and we can't get in there. Rolling shutter gate we can't do anything with. And we still don't have a fuse either. So, I think what we're going to do... Is have a good look at the map. Now we don't know what we need to open this door. We don't have any keys, do we? We don't. But this door here is locked with the owl key. That's right. The repair bay probably has something in it that we need. Let's go back down here. There's nothing here that we can use. All right. Well, let's go save it. 
And when we come back, we would have figured out what we need to do. So the fuse box is probably one of our most pressing things that we need to sort out. And what do we actually have here? We've got a lot of healing items. We've got the thermite flares as well, which I'm too concerned to use. We have 70 rounds of 10 millimeter. And 13 shotgun shells. Not too bad, actually. We're doing all right for supplies. It's just um, we need to find some keys to make some progress. Which we will certainly do in the next episode. So we've explored. We've learnt the lay of the land. When we come back, it's key finding. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.